Hello, in this video I'm gonna tell you how to make your um, HP Victus 16 faster. So there is quite a few things that you can do in order to make your uh, HP Victus faster and the first one is turning on performance mode. So let's get to the settings first. Then in the settings we can find uh, the system and find power and battery. And in the power and battery setting you'll see the power mode. You can change it um, separately for when plugged in and when on battery. I'm gonna change it for when on battery because I'm on battery right now. And if you set it to best power efficiency then your laptop may be a bit slower uh, because it's just using less power. Uh, in the balanced mode, it's balanced as it says, and the best performance will make your laptop faster. Um, so that is really great, although personally I wouldn't turn uh, the best performance on battery because it will drain quite a lot of that battery. So my personal suggestion is setting it, the best performance for when plugged in and when on battery I will leave it on balanced and also um, even if you don't change this setting having your laptop plugged in will for sure make it faster this is how laptops work um, because from battery they just can't take as much power as they do from the charger so that's why you should plug your laptop in to make it faster but there are also a few other things that you can do in order to make it faster for example, right click on the bottom bar, then click on task manager. And here will be some apps um, in the startup section, which is here. Uh, these are the apps that um, are, if they have status set to enabled, are turned on automatically when your laptop starts. And some of these apps are essential, like the security um, or the radio software these for sure are um, important and I wouldn't disable them but if there is something like the Microsoft Edge um, or if you have the Spotify Discord or Steam and you don't really want them to be enabled each time you turn on your laptop because it makes your laptop turn on a bit longer and also if they just stay on um, they will use some resources uh, which will make your laptop a bit, a bit slower um, then these apps that aren't essential so you just need to know what the app is for if it says something like the RTK IAUGU service 64 and you don't really understand it then I would leave it enabled if it's enabled um, to not to break anything but the Microsoft Edge I think it can be disabled um, I'm gonna leave the OneDrive because it synchronizes my data to the drive so I do want the backups to be performed automatically um, but as I said the Discord, the Spotify or Steam of course you can leave them on enabled if you're using it each time you turn on your laptop but you just need to know that especially if that app says that its startup impact is high it will just make your laptop startup a bit slower and we'll use the resources because as we're getting to the resources the apps that you have in the background will always use some of them so if you want to play games for instance I would recommend turning off the apps that you don't need um, to be turned on while you are using um, the game. So if you have uh, some apps opened, uh, like multiple of them, maybe the browser. If you need the browser to stay on, of course, leave it on. But if you don't need any of the apps that you open, if you have multiple of them opened, then this will slow down your laptop for sure and it's just great to close them just like that uh, the ones that you don't need to be on all the time 
so they don't use these resources. Um, you can also see in the processes section in the task manager which app uses the most resources and I'm gonna show you that on an example of a browser because browsers usually take up quite a good deal of resources so um, I'm gonna open several tabs because the more tabs opened the more resources are used and yeah now I have quite a few tabs of course I know people that have even more so now as we get to the task manager which we've opened and we get to performance we'll see in the memory that our memory usage right now is somewhere around here so we have the 5.7 gigabytes in use and as I close the Microsoft Edge you can see how the memory usage drops and also the CPU usage as well and that will make your laptop run faster and that's basically uh, the simplest solutions to make your laptop run smoother. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.